Hi everyone, it's Grant here at the UU Plan and I'm here to do a special video interview with Sorka. Hi Sorka, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good to hear. Now Sorka, you've done an amazing, amazing job. Do you mind me asking for the people that are watching how much it is that you've lost on the UU Plan so far? Just over three stone That's from it. the end of August. That's awesome. Great job. Yeah. And from the end of August, so that was last But it's been on and off, it hasn't, I've had holidays and things, things like that. Well no, even so, you would, you'd be breaking for refeed, which is actually something we'll, we'll talk about oh, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And do you mind me asking them, because for a lot of people, when you mention a weight, it doesn't put it into perspective, what that's meant in terms of the dress sizes, because you know, everyone's going to see from the photos that we're going to share, you've done yeah. an amazing, amazing job. Do you mind me asking them what it was in terms of dress sizes? I was probably going to a size 18 and I'm now like a 10, 12. But my first oh. pair of size 10 jeans this week. That is awesome. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome job. Yeah. And I suppose then what was it that the turning point that made you decide to, to take up our diet? What was it that, that clicked and made you start? Reading all the stories of how quickly it worked. I was always someone who was, no. I am not doing all the diets I've done, I'm not doing my replacement, I'm not doing it. Okay. But reading the reviews, I was like, you know what, what do I have to lose? Absolutely, that's fantastic. And that was then your reason for doing TFR. Um, do you mind me asking what it was that made you, what was the turning point that made you want to lose weight? I couldn't go up any more dress sizes and put them on going out or even going to work for the day and having to go through about five outfits without as in to get nice. something to fit. Looking at photographs, cropping photographs. <laughs> you mentioned that. Um, yeah, not feeling like I could do the things I wanted to do because I felt uncomfortable. Even sitting I felt uncomfortable because I was just felt like I was getting too big. Okay. So it was just an amalgamation of all those factors. Yeah, that loss of confidence. Um, not going out anymore. I'm really out going and stop going out right. at weekends. Yeah, it's just so people did not see me. That is, I mean, it's so sad when I hear that. And you know, even sitting here with you now, and anyone that's watching this will agree. You, you can't come across as that bubbly person. Yeah. You'd be want to be. You know, you're the kind of person we would want to hang around with when we go out. So yeah, I wasn't. You know, I forgot really miserable. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry to hear that. But <laughs> you, you definitely come back with yeah. the bang. And I suppose then that kind of ties in with the next question. What was it that you hoped to gain by losing weight? Was it purely to get your confidence back, or was there, you know, were you feeling maybe unhealthy when you were at, the, at your peak weight? Or I felt like going to do things, I had to think, am I too big to do it? Because I like doing like outdoorsy stuff, like yes, with um, I've got a wee boy, and I was like, am I going to go and they'll be like, how long? She's no, she's maybe a bit too big for this. Right. And putting into my clothes again. I love clothes, um, and get my yeah, get my confidence back. Absolutely, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I got invited paintballing, and I was actually worried about how I was going to get around the course. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's and it's embarrassing. Exactly, you don't want to be the one that's at the back or anything like that. I know exactly what you mean. And how how the benefits been that you've seen so far? Because you've had such a profound change. I mean, you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And. I just want to know what it has. Has your confidence come back and has your fashion sense changed? Oh yeah. Um, fit into clothes that hasn't fitted me in years. Um, a clothes I've held on to from I have my little boy, he's seven. Right. And he fit me again. Um, I'm out all the time. time. Super. Um, my skin, my skin, like I don't have brilliant skin since I've been doing this. I haven't got any breakouts. My hair is the longest it's been in years as well. It's, I, it, like people are saying to me like, oh my God, so your skin looks so much better. Yeah. No, you've done a fantastic, fantastic it's, job. Yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole big massive. Change. Yeah. yeah. It's a new you. Yeah, <laughs> it is exactly <laughs> what it is, good. yeah. And I suppose then, just from my own perspective, because I haven't got to, to speak to you before, you know, when I, yeah. when I heard that I was doing an interview with you, I panicked a little bit because I don't think I've really spoken to you on the phone. No, anything not at like all. that. But I was just wondering, how have you found the support otherwise in terms of oh, Facebook? Your Facebook page yeah. is brilliant. It is. It's from both yourselves 
as in anything I've ever asked, it's always answered. It's always answered really quickly as well. Because I'm always thinking nobody's going to be on at this time of the night, but there tends to that be people there. Like she's always yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I'm like, there's nobody going to be there. But somebody does answer. But even from the other members, and I spoke, no, there's, is there three people that stands out for me. Kate. Yes. Is yes. really good. Yes. So she she's is. Um, Una. 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 Yes. Una who's I've always there. Her. Yes, she's a lovely lady. And is there a Ruth? Is there a word that always seems it's to be about as well? Yes, it is. Thank you so much, that's wonderful. And I suppose the next thing would be then, because you've achieved so much, mm -hmm. just casting your mind back to your first days, two questions. Do you remember how much it was you lost in your first week? Yes, well in the first 15, because I had to, to keep me going, right. I posted on my own Facebook page every day what I lost. Wow. I had to because I was like, if I don't do that, no, that's commitment. then people are going to be like, I see she didn't do it, did she? <laughs> Whereas like, I am not having people say it. So in, in 15 days, I think, I think eight day, on my eighth day, it was 11 pounds I'd lost. That is fantastic. Yeah, I think that was about, because I, I, I looked today on my Facebook, I went back to see what it was. I think about eighth day, it was 11 pounds I'd lost. And it was, it was like, I guess nearly a stone week. Uh, yeah, exactly. And that, I was going to weigh that weekend, yeah. so uh, yeah, it made the whole weekend better. Awesome, and it gives you that kick. Yeah. Seeing that, that sudden change on the scale is just like, yes, that's the point where you think, I can do this. Yeah. Absolutely. And made me then, it was like, I'm doing this. I am, as soon as I get back from my weekend away, I'm, I'm back on right. this, I'm doing this. Yeah. Super. And I suppose the whole thing with ketogenic diets is the first week is always going to be the toughest. So, Four days. Four days. First four days, I always say to people, get through your first four days and get these. And honestly, it, well, for me, it was the mm. first four days. They were hard. Mm. But once I hit the fifth day, it was like, oh. That was the, the turning point. Yeah. Absolutely. And do you mind me asking what it is, just for the people watching, what it is that you did in those four days to keep you motivated? I mean, posting on your own Facebook, that's a brilliant yeah. way to stay accountable. But you know, was there anything else that you were doing? Trying on clothes, um, looking at photographs, um, looking at clothes I wanted to fit back into. Right. Um, yeah, things, I bought a dress and I was like, I am getting into that dress. <laughs> I'm getting into that dress and I'm going to look good in that dress. Awesome. And have you done it? At oh, the end of November. Yeah. In oh, the that dress. Is, yeah. That's super. But even between then, I wore it at the end of November and then I wore it again. The beginning of January, I went on holiday, and you can see the difference in them two times Absolutely. as well. well. It's always nice, like, I don't know if you saw that interview I had with Maria, just yeah. what you said there. When someone wears the same same bit of clothing again, you can just see that sudden jump. It's fantastic yeah. to see. Oh, yeah, definitely. Whereas in one, you'd be like so into it, and then the okay. next, it's like, yeah, that's good. good. Well, I suppose the next thing then, because we've covered that part of just the initial getting through it. How hard did you find it to stay on track? It was quite easy after that, wasn't it? After that, mm. it was, for me, it was, don't give it was easy in that I was so, I am, I just, because after the first stone, I was like, I feel so much better right. after this. It's gonna be, get even better. So that kept me motivated. See, once the first social, social functions and mm. stuff was over, then I was, I was, Grand. And Absolutely. what everybody says is, which at the start you're like, hi, whatever, your taste buds really do change. Oh, yes, I've noticed that. Absolutely. Um, a guy was like, oh, no, when I'm off, like on holidays for a week, I'll drink like coffee with mm. milk in it. I don't like coffee with milk, milk in it anymore. anymore. Um, he, yeah, I totally was... lost cravings for things. Absolutely. It was the same thing with me with uh, my, my tea. I would have a lot of sugar in my tea. And after I did this diet, just when I went home, I noticed that I wasn't having sugar in my yeah. tea afterwards anymore. That's super. It's, um, yeah, yeah, definitely that. And going on the Facebook page and just reading what other people had achieved, so knowing that it was achievable. Achievable, absolutely. Yeah. So it's just that you, you were pretty much immersed the whole time that you were. At the start, it really was that. Like, I would have spent loads of time on that page on Facebook. Right, okay. Um, just reading things that people were saying and stuff, but yeah. Super. And in terms of your time on TFR, mm -hmm. 
One of the questions I often get asked by people that approach our page and they have never seen this sort of a diet before, and it can be daunting, uh, just because you, you suddenly got this rush of information. What would your typical day have been on TFR in terms of which four products would you have had and how would you space them and how would you make sure that you hit your water lines and things like that? That changed as well because I had this thing that obviously I've been told all my life you have to have breakfast, you have to have breakfast. Yes. So I would have had a shake when I got up in the morning. Right. But as time went on I realised that I, I didn't need okay. that in the morning so I would leave it till 11 o'clock. Yep. Um, at the start, I would have had three shakes and one meal a day, right. but it's totally changed now. Right. At the minute, I'm probably eating porridge. Porridge, I'm obsessed right? by the porridge. <laughs> okay, super. I have like I have 150 porridge sitting in my kitchen. I went overboard. I just kept buying them. When you try and order the porridge <laughs> and they're trying to stop, this is the reason why. I only realised a couple of weeks ago, and I was like. I did that thing where I was like, I'm going to count all my products. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, how many ended up with so much porridge. Right, so you love the porridge. A wee bit too much, yeah. A wee bit too much. Do you mind me asking then what else has changed in terms of your, your daily menu now? I, I'm, I still do the four products yes. today, yeah. unless at some times, because I'm happy the way I am. Okay. Although I lost some more, then it would be grand as well. Absolutely. So sometimes I would have three products and then a high protein meal. Absolutely. Well, that's the way it has to work yeah. because of the idea, isn't it? So yeah. I'm glad to hear that that is yeah. what you do. And I suppose that's you know that's brilliant in terms of your, your TFR plan. Do you mind me asking how it was you went about the refeed? Did you use our refeed guide? Did you use the momentum maintainers? I did a wee bit, but right. I still was drawn back to the same as in just the normal Facebook page. Oh, right. Okay. Um, I did read how to do refeed. Yeah. Um, I found it really hard to find food that I wanted anymore. Oh, right. Does okay. that make sense? Yes, because your taste, your taste changed completely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, my refeed's been a bit... I did read it and I knew the concept I'm behind sure, it. Right. But I didn't follow it to the book. Oh, I would have done, I would have still done like, it depends how it's suited because I find the product so handy. Right. And when I'm going somewhere, it's so much easier just to take one of them. Absolutely. Than it is to go I'm looking for, for food. Food, absolutely. <laughs> well, now, just so long as you, you basically bring your calorie count up for that two oh, weeks, yeah. uh, that would be the most important. Oh, God, I, there's been weeks for my calorie counts. Okay, yeah. super. Oh, yeah. And I suppose the next thing then. Because we've talked about your, your day on, on the diet day and refeed. Has maybe your exercise changed at all? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't really do any exercise while I was doing it. Okay. However, now I've started doing um, personal training sessions. Awesome. So I am really, I'm only in this like, third week and I'm absolutely killing today. And because <laughs> I've lost so much weight, Wait. I did start a, um, a local group is doing a show this weekend, um, a cabaret show with burlesque dancers and they wanted overweight women. Right. So when I joined it, I was overweight. It's this weekend, so I'm not overweight anymore. So I've been doing that, so I've been doing okay. dance practice. Which would, a week. that's a lot of cardio, that would definitely um, bring your heart rate up. Yeah, um, so I've got that this weekend. But I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't lost weight. But right. that was the purpose of this woman doing this burlesque dancing. Awesome, well done. So, yeah. And I suppose then one of the other questions that I love to ask is your favourite product. If you had to just pick one, one, one favourite product. <laughs> I really don't know because there are so like I keep some in work right. obviously because I have like I have my first one when I'm in work. Okay. And I do just go through and go, oh, what have they like today? <laughs> um, Por porridge was Well, I didn't because today they were like, oh, she getting her porridge out. And I was like, actually, then I'm going to have a vanilla shake. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's really, no, honestly, I've read so much about other plans and about just shakes and just this and I don't like them. Right. Honestly, there is so, so much, much choice. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll leave it as being a couple of your, could you name a few of your favourites, maybe? Yeah, cottage pie, cottage pie, the porridge, right. vanilla shakes, and um, chocolate shakes. Right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll go with those ones. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. And you know, it's 
closing, just the, the final, final thing that I would ask for anyone that's maybe found our website, is not on the plan yet, but is thinking of doing TFR, doing the new year plan, what would your advice to them be? To stop thinking about it and just do it, as in stop putting it off, because mm -hmm. the first, to me, one week of it is enough motivation to keep going with it. Absolutely. Um, and to ask, before I started, I had just tortured the questions, <laughs> but they were always answered. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was just, a, you know what, so I could just do it, because the longer I put this off, the bigger I'm getting. So just do, do it. it. And yeah, it worked. It worked for you. Yeah. Super. Well, Fulka, thank you so much. And to everyone that's watching, I'm sure it's going to be a big thank you from them as well. Congratulations. Thank You've you. done such an amazing, amazing job. And I'll shake your hand. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you all soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.